Oh, Ronnie Hoare. Yeah. When, okay. My real quick, my cousin, my married. He married, he's married to my cousin, my blood cousin. Yep, Jason. the lady. Henrietta. Your blood cousin. It's Henrietta. I, honestly, yeah. to me, I talk to her and I talk to him. Okay. To me, she's on a different level than where he is. Right. He's on a spiritual, we spiritual Israel level. Okay. She's on nowhere Israel, yes. and they are Edomites. They are Esau. Right. She told me that from her own mouth. That's what they always say. Yeah. So what he's saying, kind of to me, is a little different than what she says. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I was wanting to know because they, they always try to tell my mother that we're Jews, and my mother just laughs. Cause now <laughs> Henrietta might have a, she might have a different understanding than Ronnie has, but I know that. When he says it, he's saying one by like conversion and adoption. Have you have you talked to her sister, my cousin Kay? No, I haven't talked oh, to her. Man, you should talk to her. I never talked to Kay. Yes, I talked to Ronnie. She's the one. Ronnie Senior, I mean Junior, the, the son that they have, his right. son. Right. But I've never talked to Kay. She goes there also. She, yeah, she's a, she believes how they believe. We went there like way back then, but then she she lives in Portsmouth though. She doesn't. Live oh, okay. There. What we want to do with all these different people? I mean, we want to really sit down. And look at the scriptures and so, say, you know, it's speaking in tongues valid according to the Bible. So this is your church Sunday from worship. home where you're from? Like you're from New York? This is what you believe from there? Or? No, no, I came into, I was born in New York in 73. Okay. Then I moved from New York to D.C., outside of D.C. area, P.G. County. You know, P.G. County, I moved up to Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? So I went from New York to P.G. County, and then in Maryland, actually, and then from there up to Cleveland. But... I came to this understanding of my covenant with Yahweh back in 94 when I was at Central State University. You know what I'm saying? Back in Central State University. So, I mean, here, I mean, just wherever I go, if I see Yasha holiday, I try to you know, get with him. So it's a, it's a church that you came to believe in? Or how did you come What do you mean, mean, if it's a church? I mean, you, you would start going to a church. It was a brother It was a brother that was teaching me. That other brothers taught him when he was in college. You know what I'm saying? Other brothers taught him when he was in college. He was in the college in South Carolina. Then he came to Central State and he had flyers that brothers had been making and he was passing the flyers out. So I sat down with one of the flyers and I read it and said, this is true. And then ever since then I would be calling up to different brothers in New York, getting edification and a better understanding of different topics. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't start with a, it started with an Israelite person and the, the foundation was on the Bible as the guideline. Not a man not the organization itself, but the Bible as a guideline. And then with most things, more focus starts to be put on the doctrines of the organization as opposed to what the Bible specifically states. And then you start to put more faith in the organization when it doesn't agree with the Bible and you start to roll with the organization because the organization gives you some reason why the Bible isn't wrong, isn't right in this instance. And that's when you got to kind of back up from the organization but stick with this organization of Yasha Allah in the book. So let me ask you, you believe in the Apocrypha and the Bible? Well, you believe in both? Here's my Bible. Okay. And if you look on my Bible, it has an Apocrypha in it. It does? So it's not a matter of or. Both of them were meant and were together before they came to the Americas. It's the Protestants in America that took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. Why? I have no clue. They said that it was too bulky. To us, was bulky. That was their, their they excuse. Said, I, I, what I, from what I've read, or what I've they seen, they always look for a reason to take it out. Ever they since said it was translated, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't sound. It wasn't. No, what it was is they said that it was controversial because it was speaking out against what they was doing. Um, when it originally translated in 1611, it was all one book. They didn't yeah. take it out until the last hundred years. So, so, why it is it, so, so why is the Apocrypha separated from the rest of the Word of God? It's called the Apocrypha. Why? Because you got to think about what that word Apocrypha means. What does it mean? That's what I'm asking. 